Good morning. It's Friday. Yay! A uh, little bit of a crappy day. It's raining. And uh, the pressures outside are kicking my lungs butt, but I'm going to push through this today. Because I can. Had an awesome night last night hanging out with my friend Brenna. So, no complaints there. And I actually got some pretty solid sleep. Uh, woke up a couple times, but no binge spending on Amazon for these wake ups. It was just a wake up, adjust, turn the heating blanket back on, and go back to sleep. So now I'm heading out the door to go to work. Gonna do my usual stops, but then this evening I have to drive out to Frederick to drop off the fabrics for the quilt that I'm having made to the quilter. So it's kind of the happy medium ground between the two of us. So I've got that going for me too. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have my custom quilt made and then I can have a big reveal and show you guys what it is. So until then, I'm off to work. And that's a wrap for the work day. It's been a pretty short day today. I uh, took a half a day at work, so I went in for four hours, and I'm taking four hours of leave. When I woke up this morning, I wasn't feeling very well, and uh, I was planning on going to work early so I could leave early today anyway, but uh, I'm just not, just not feeling too well today. It's the weather. It's still cloudy. It's not raining like it was earlier, but it still uh, still sucks. <laughs> so now I'm heading home, but first I am stopping by the quilt maker so I can drop off the fabrics and have the quilts made. Uh, hopefully in the next month or two they'll be done, but at least now I can get them out of my truck because I've been keeping the fabrics in the truck since I bought them because I thought I was going to have a quilt maker within two days and it's been like three weeks. But it is what it is. Right now it's, uh, it's a little bit before two o'clock in the afternoon in DC and it's a Friday so traffic could, uh, could potentially get real bad here soon. Good thing I'm leaving work early. Fabric's been dropped off to the quilt maker, and uh, if you look very carefully behind me, yes, that is a Krispy Kreme that has the sign lit up for hot and fresh. Yes, I had a hot and fresh Krispy Kreme donut. Why? Because it was delicious. And it was dessert because I already ate dinner while I was down here. It took about two hours to get from work to down here where the quilt maker is because of traffic. Hopefully, because it's been another hour since then, traffic going home isn't nearly as bad and I can take back roads, so it should only take about 40 minutes to get home. Um, everybody likes to go south on Fridays, so hopefully my going north is the opposite effect. But, yep, I had steak for dinner. Uh, took my enzymes and then I had the donuts for dessert so I'm pretty much good to go and now I can relax for the evening you know being sick really absolutely freaking sucks sometimes I mean seriously <laughs> it is terrible reason being not because I'm sick because the opportunities I've had since being sick are outstanding they're amazing and yeah I can't do what I used to do but that's not the point I just went to CVS and picked up $60 worth of prescriptions and then because now I'm on enzymes and they're actually working you know a drug that actually does what it's supposed to do I went to get it filled at the CVS with insurance, with insurance. It is $548 a month, $548 a month. That is absolutely ridiculous and absurd. Yeah, 
Without insurance, it's $2,600 a month. I'm lucky because I still get treatment through the VA and when my prescriptions are a little too expensive, like this one, I can get it filled at the VA because I'm a service-connected veteran. If I didn't have that, that is a car payment or half of my house every month that would go for just one drug. God, these prices are astronomical. And it's just as bad with breathing drugs, but don't get me started on that rant because this is crap, man. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Ugh. But it's, it's water under the bridge. Uh, I did get the rest of the prescriptions I need prior to my procedure on the 7th, which I'm still not looking forward to. And at least now, when, uh, when that time comes, the prescriptions are ready to rock and roll. Uh, for now, it's late at night, later at night, it's like 8 o'clock, it's dark, and I've had a very long day at work and driving and just the weather being good and then bad and then bad than good. So it's affecting my lungs a little bit more than normal. And I really haven't had much good sleep this week, so I'm looking forward to a good night's rest and being able to sleep in in the morning. So without further ado, thank you for watching. As always, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.